What's going on guys? Chris here, back again with another video for you guys today. In tonight's video, I'm going to be showing you guys chemistry style method and how you guys can make so many coins right now with this method in FIFA. I wanted to show you guys this Jota card off the bat, but before we get into the video, if you guys can just drop a like on it and subscribe if you're new around here, that'd be absolutely fantastic. The position change method will be coming out a few hours from now as well, and then we're also going to be having a market watch video early tomorrow morning for all you guys that have been watching the videos following uh the twitch channel as well subscribing everywhere thank you guys for the support i really do appreciate it i wanted to show you guys jota off the bat here because i was able to snipe him at 3200 coins right now it seems like he's been going for around 5000 coins and there's so many coins to be made with this method with chem styles and position modifiers people don't realize that when they list cards in the market if it has a position change on them or a chem style, it could influence their price. So a lot of casual players don't know this. So they normally list up these players for the same price as the one that is the normal price. The one that doesn't have the position modifier or the one that doesn't have the chem style on it. And the chem styles that we're talking about are hunters and shadows. So we'll talk about that in the video. And I'm also going to give you guys a little bit of a guide as to how to find some of these players. So... How to find these guys? Well, I'm going to list this card back up. I just want to double check Jota on the market real quick. I'm going to show you what I've been doing today as well. We probably made over 200,000 quints today, and most of it is definitely from pos uh, position change and chem style trading. It looks right now that he's currently going for 4.9k, so I'm going to list my Jota at 4.7, and he should sell like pretty quickly. At the moment, I'm recording this video at 7.22 p.m., the market may be a little more scarce when it comes to getting buys, but it's going to be less competition. So you should be able to win almost every one of these at this time. I chose Jota because he is a meta card that people would want to use in their starter teams right now. Now, I actually just listed that at 4.7. That 4.6 that was just listed, though, got bought really quickly. I expect my 4.7k to get bought quickly as well. I chose him because he's a meta player. People are going to choose him for teams. And then when you apply a Hunter Chem style, this card becomes even more attractable. People buy these cards with the Hunter Chem style because they are lazy and they don't want to they don't want to go and buy Jota on the market and then also have to buy the Hunter Chem style or the position modifier to go along with that. So you can make a lot of coins from people that are selling these cards too cheap because they don't realize the Chem style or the modifier uh, makes the card go higher. And you can also profit off these guys because they're lazy enough to go and buy these players off the market with everything applied to them. So it's a really good way. Jota is one player that I showed you guys, but there are so many others. Like you can go to, for example, I was using Carver Hall today. Actually, let me just show you guys my transfer list right now. Uh, Carver Hall was one of the cards that I used a lot of. I probably made just today 3,000 coins a card on Carver Hall and I bought like maybe 10. So 30k just on Carver Hall like that. Richarlison, Rafinha, Pulisic, Diego Carlos, Royce as well with a Hunter card. And how do you know which chem style to use for which position? For forwards and for cams, and for most, yeah, for most cams and forwards, you're probably going to be looking at a Hunter chem style. If you're looking for a shadow, it's going to be left backs, right backs, center backs, CDMs, and most center mids will probably be needed for a shadow chem style. Center mids can go either way. It depends on how you use them in game. Like if you use Suzuko as a center mid, you're going to probably go a shadow, not a hunter. But if you're using a guy like Mason Mount, you may go a hunter. It just depends on like who the player is and where you're using him on the pitch. So that's what I would be doing. Um, I So what you do is you pretty much find what the card is going for on the market right now. So in the case of a Carver Hall, we'll show you real quick how to properly do this. You go into the market and you just, you want to research a little bit, right? How much does Carver Hall go on the market right now? He's currently about 4,000 coins right now. So somebody that is, you know, not experienced in the market will start listing these cards up around 4,000 coins. If I look and see what he goes for with a shadow though, he goes for 7,400 coins right now with a shadow. So all you got to do is sit here for maybe a few minutes right? Wouldn't sit more than like a couple minutes on each card because there's other deals available. Um, but you should be able to win most of these like deals, especially late night. During the daytime, there is going to be some competition. I just have to tell you that, especially on the PS market, 
it is almost like an Olympic sport trying to snipe these cards. But you could get lucky. You could find a card that works really well for you that nobody else is buying. And you can make a lot of profit off it. So I'm pretty much just compare pricing on this Carver Hall right now. Waiting for ones that pop up. Even if they pop up at 5k, 6k. I know this guy from my earlier experience that he's going to be selling around 7.2, 7.1k. So even 6k, because you're working with such low margins, you don't have to really worry about tax as much. So even if you make a bad buy, say you buy them at like 6.6k, that's technically still profit on a card like this. And that's what's so great about the chem and position change method is that normally you're working with cards that are between 1.5k to 15k. You could do this on a higher tier budget as well. Um, I was looking at guys like Dybala earlier, like with a position change, he was going for like 36. Uh, and then if you changed it, it would be like a 41k on that. So we'll talk about that more in the next video. This is strictly chem styles. Um, there's none popping up there. So I'm going to move on. And here's what I did, actually. I put a filter on Fuppin. So I'll show you guys how I did this. FIFA 22 players. And I went to gold rare. Okay. And then I put my price in. So right here, you can go under PS or if you're on Xbox, wh whichever one. I go 1500 and I go to 15,000. And that's normally pretty good for the tax. Like, if you're at 15k, you're not spending more than, I think it's 750 coins on tax. So that's pretty solid. I'm going to click this PS button twice here. Because the first button will give you the most expensive cards lower down. And the second one will give you guys the lowest rated or the like least expensive cards. And then upwards of that. So, I can go to any card here. I can go to any card that I would like to experiment with. How about you like, um, how about like a Lozano, right? Lozano on the market is currently right now, and we can use Fuppin. We can also use, um, you know, the actual market itself, how much he's going for right now. Lozano right now is 1,800 coins. So that's somewhere where a casual player will probably see what he's going for and, you know, mistakenly sell this card with a Hunter for a price like that. He's actually going for 4.8K with a Hunter. Right now, there's less, there's less demand in the market, so maybe that's why you have this card not selling after 35 minutes. But you can list them up for 4.4, 4.5, and you'll still be able to make a good amount of profit. So you can buy this card anywhere around that, anywhere around like 1,800, 2,500, even 3.5K. You'll still be able to make profit on a card like this. And trust me, you're not seeing many deals right now, but you will find deals during the day. You got to be a little bit more patient at nighttime. Um, you can also try to get on bids on these cards. So if you know that Lozano with a Hunter sells for 4.8K, you can get on bids up until maybe like four and you can list them back up for 4.5, 4.6, right? Things like that you can look at doing, especially late night when there's less competition, there's less eyes on the market and that's really huge for you. So that's pretty much it when it comes to the cam style method. Now I can give you guys this list in the description if you want to, but all it really is is just trying to see as many different meta cards. And that's the criteria for this. It has to be meta. It has to be something that somebody wants to use this card right now in the game if you're trying to you know chem style trade with who is a who's a guy here that is just like in kudu for example you can you definitely can but i think that it's better if you're doing it with players that are actually you know really valued like denea for example who has 83 pace and he's up at 2.3k right now right we're gonna go and double check that and see where this guy is so let me just type his name in right uh denea thank you and then we're going to see what he's currently going for, right? Double check a little bit. You never want to just trust Fuppin right away. You want to just make sure his price is actually at that. And then I'm going to put a shadow on this. And then you're just going to sit there and you're going to snipe for a little bit. And like I said, if you go through a list of like 15 to 30 players doing this, whether they're hunters or shadows on these guys, you'll be able to like win a lot of this stuff. Um, you can also try to snipe on the web app, but it's a way for you to make more coins because you're going to be looking at as, like more cards in the market. If you stick to maybe like three or four cards and you just sit on them for 10 minutes, yeah, you'll make some profit for sure if you win some win some snipes. But the more cards you're looking at, the more potential profit there is. And this method's only going to get better, I think, because right now we're during we're in early access. There's not as many people on the game as there will be on October 1st. I was about to buy that at 4k but you see that they do pop up right that could be a trader that could be somebody that's more experienced in the market that knows that this guy does sell around 4,000 coins with a shadow also if you're buying a player that you're maybe not sure that he's going to sell for the price that you want put on your transfer targets see if this guy 
is is going to get bought. And if you know that he gets bought at 4K, once you go on your transfer targets, then you know he sells at that. And you're going to be able to just adjust your price accordingly. So that's pretty much it when it comes to like the chemistry style method. It's so simple. There's so many coins in it. Guys like Denayer, guys like, like Romero from uh, the Premier League, right? That 82 overall center back, making a lot of coins on him. Zaha is also another one. Um, actually, I should have kept that shadow on. Actually, I'll go and look at his cheapest price right now, and then I'll look at his shadow price for you guys. He looks like he's under 7,000 coins on the market right now. Um, 6.7K. And then you're going to go in the shadow here. And you're just going to see what he co goes for at the moment. And right now, he looks like he's 8.7K. So about 2,000 coin difference there. And that's why I love this method. Because there is such a low tax threshold on this. And like you're going to be able to make so many more coins. Instead of buying a 50K card to sell at 55 you're able to buy a card for 6k, sell them back for 8.3. You know, as I get kicked out of the game, I sold that Jota as you guys saw in the top left corner. That'll pretty much do it for this method. This is going to be a method that a lot of you guys are going to be, you know, shown over the next couple weeks as I show you guys on stream more of this type of content. Um, I'll literally link this video to you guys a lot in the stream. So just be prepared for that. Thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video soon. Peace out.